Hello everyone, and welcome back to Best of the Best. Today, we'll tell you about all that's inside the world's first undersea roundabout. So without further ado, let's get started. When you think of the most impressive tunnels in the world, the remote archipelago between Iceland and Norway probably isn't the first place that comes to mind. But the Faroe Islands have had to become very good at tunneling in order to connect these 18 rough pieces of land made of volcanic rock. They are working on their most ambitious project to date right now. The Jellyfish Roundabout is an important piece of infrastructure that has cut the time it takes to get between two of the most populated islands from more than an hour to just 15 minutes. The Faroe Islands may have a slow pace of life, but the weather can change quickly. Some people believe that it is possible to see all four seasons in one day. Because of this, it might be a little harder to get around. The Faroe Islands are in the middle of the North Sea between Norway and Iceland. Even though they have their own government, they are officially part of Denmark. On the country's 17 inhabited islands, there are a little more than 50,000 people and about 70,000 sheep. Before not too long ago, the only way to get from one island to the other was to take a boat. But the water here can get rough at times, and the trip itself can take anywhere from a few hours to half a day, depending on when you catch the ferry or if it's even running. In the 1970s, a bridge was built between the two most populated islands. This cut the travel time from an hour and a half to just a few minutes. But it wasn't until the 1960s that there was a lot of tunneling on the Faroe Islands. The Norwegians gave the Faroes some help along the road, which gave them a chance to get better at digging tunnels. In the last 60 years, they have built 20 tunnels that go through narrow fjords, high hillsides, hills, and even the ocean itself. There are almost 50 kilometers of road tunnels, but there are only 53,000 people living there. For each person who lives in this area, it's more than one meter of tunneling. Now, the Faroe Islands are building two tunnels into the ocean to make their tunnel system go even deeper. The total cost of the investment is close to 700 million US dollars, which makes it the company's biggest single expense to date. The asteroid tunnel is 11 kilometers long, and was finished in 2020. Its goal is to link the islands of Stramoy and Esteroy, where the capital city of the country is located. The second Sandoy tunnel is expected to open in 2023. At that time, it will connect the sparsely populated towns of Sandoy to the large infrastructure network in Stramoy. People in the Faroe Islands can now choose to drive their cars under the ocean instead of putting them on ships. Thanks to the Istroy tunnel, more villages are now linked to the main island infrastructure and the mainland. From more than an hour, it now only takes a few minutes to get to the nation's capital, and the addition of some amazing buildings makes what was already a beautiful drive even more beautiful. The tunnel you can drive through is the second longest in the world, and the builders spent a lot of money to make it as comfortable as possible. During the eight-minute drive under the water surface, you can listen to a radio station that has been made just for you to make the trip more fun. Also, there is a road that goes around in a circle. At 72 meters below the surface, there is a huge column of multicolored rock that looks almost exactly like a jellyfish. 187 meters below the surface of the river is the part of the tunnel that is the deepest underwater. The crew used a method called drill and blast to dig out the area. First, a hole is drilled into the rock below the water. Then, explosives are thrown into the hole. Finally, the rubble that is left is cleaned up. Then, concrete is sprayed on the rock to make a solid lining for the tunnel. This helps to make sure that water won't get into the tunnel. Also, there is a system of gates, pumps, and pipes that moves any rain or surface water away from the vehicles and back into the nearby fjord. It took four years to build the 10.5-kilometer tunnel from start to finish. This is a pretty short amount of time compared to how long some projects can take in big cities like New York and London. Even though there aren't as many people living above a tunneling site in the Faroe Islands, there are still things to learn about how to build tunnels quickly and well. Titer Samuelson, CEO of the Faroes Tunneling Company, PF Eister Og Sandoyartunlar, said that decisions can be made quickly in the Faroe Islands because the country is small and the people are close. That's one reason why we can work on projects like these. 
We also have a lot of expertise building tunnels using Norwegian technology and according to Norwegian standards, which is a big selling point. The Esteroid Tunnel is expected to be used by tens of thousands of cars and trucks every day. Even though it will cost about 10 to 25 US dollars for an annual pass to use the tunnel, the money from tolls will be used to pay for construction, maintenance, and other tunnel projects in the future. The second tunnel, on the other hand, will only be able to fit 310 cars per day. It will be 22 kilometers long, making it the longest subsea tunnel for car traffic in the world. It will cost close to 500 million US dollars right now. It's a big investment per person much bigger than other tunnel projects in Europe. But since this is in a very populated country, it will have a big effect on the lives of those it does help. The only way to get from Sandoy to the mainland right now is to take a ferry. A trip that takes 64 minutes now will only take 16 minutes with the help of the new underwater tunnel. Gravity makes sure that the water flows away from the cars and the road through gratings and pipes and down to the lowest point in the tunnel where big 16-bar pumps send the water back to the surface and out into the Scalford Ford while people driving by look at the beautiful tunnel decorations. While drivers look at the pretty decorations in the tunnel, water is led away from the cars in the road. Listening to FM Radio 97.0 while driving through the brightly colored Esteroitanil, the world's second longest car traffic subsea tunnel makes the experience much more enjoyable. On that channel, you can listen to the unique sounds that the Pharaoh's musicians and sound engineers made just for your trip to the ocean floor. Even though the Faroe Islands are a small country with only 50,000 people, they spend a lot of time, money, and knowledge on their infrastructure. This is a good investment. The building of these new tunnels could make the difference between being able to get to work, see family, or even go to the hospital and being stuck on the other side of rough waters. The subsea tunnel network is 11.2 kilometers or 6.9 miles long and connects the cosmopolitan capital, Torshaven, to the island with the second most people. Because of this, it now only takes 15 minutes to get from one place to the other. Before, it took more than an hour to drive between these two places on the mountainous roads of the island. No one else makes tunnels like the Faroes. We love them very much. On the 18 islands that make up the Faroe Islands, there are 53,000 people living. There are also 20 tunnels, three of which are long tunnels that run under the ocean. In addition to the two that are being built right now, another 14 are either being planned or are on a wish list. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down your thoughts on it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.